Okay, here we go Tuesday. I'm Coach Skip at Wildfire CrossFit. Hopefully you had a great Memorial Day. If you joined us for Murph, this is the after Murph workout. And so uh, we're going to start out with a warm-up of two rounds. Coach Tiffany is going to help me demonstrate here. Uh, and we're going to help get you loosened up and stretched out uh, so that you are ready to go for the workout and for the rest of the week. So we're going to start with two rounds, and we're going to go down, up dog, stretch, and go five of each, five down dog, five up dog for a total of 10. Really get that shoulder stretch, get those hips into the ground, stretch out those calves, whatever sore, uh, definitely make sure you get that going uh, because you'll feel much better tomorrow by getting that stuff moving. Then we're going to go into 10 scorpion stretch, five each side. So work to keep that chest to the floor as much as possible. Bring that opposite leg across the body behind you, back and forth. Hold three to five seconds in each position to get that good stretch. And if you put your hands at about a 45 degree angle from your body, that's going to help you get a good shoulder stretch in there too, along with your legs, hips, and lower back. After that, you're going to come up. You're going to do 10 good mornings. You can do them freestanding. If you want to use a PVC or a barbell or a towel or anything like that, go for it. As long as you're engaging those hamstrings, keeping those shoulders back and getting that lower back stretch each time, that's what we're looking for. Then we're going to finish up with that alternating lunge and twist. twist. So get that deep lunge twist and then switch legs make sure you keep that back knee off the ground as much as possible if you need to go down to the ground that's okay but by keeping that back knee up you're going to get a little deeper stretch each time it's good position uh yeah you're going to get a little deeper stretch each time and really reach to get that uh, hand or elbow to the ground and as you get that twist you're always going to twist towards that front leg so you're facing that front leg each time then you're going to grab a jump rope, do one minute of jump rope. If you don't have a place to jump rope, just do a vertical jump. Just make sure you spin your hands at the same time. You can also do a standing march here where you're just getting those legs moving and your arms moving at your sides. Once you finish it, go through it once more. The second time, go a little bit faster, a little bit shorter uh, rest period in each of those stretches. And when you hit those jump ropes, if you want to get faster with those and even work in some double unders, go for it. Then for the strength today, we're going to be doing some sets and we're going to be doing uh, sumo deadlift and sumo deadlift high pulls. And so uh, we're doing sets of six of the sumo deadlift where you can get a little bit heavier. Now on this sumo deadlift, if you're using a barbell, make sure those feet are nice and wide. They should be wider than your squat stands. Bring that bar down to about mid shin or start with something light and make sure you keep that chest up and stand up all the way, keeping that barbell as close to the body as possible all the way up and down. And you're just finishing in the hang position on the sumo deadlift. Once you finish a set of six, rest a minute or so, and then go into a set of sumo deadlift high pull. You're going to do three of these where you're going all the way up to the rack position. Notice how our hands are closer together, almost thumbs touching. As long as your hands are in between your waist, that's what we're looking for as far as grip on the sumo deadlift high pull. And really explode through the hips, get the, that full extension, elbows high and outside, and then release the exact same way. Then you'll go back to the next set of sumo deadlifts. If you don't have a barbell to use and you want to use a kettlebell or a dumbbell, you can do that. If you want to get heavier and you've got two of them, you can always use two at once, but same exact thing. You're doing that sumo deadlift for six, rest, and then that's do that semo, sumo deadlift high pull for three. Uh, and just take your time in between these sets. Uh, we'll probably give you about 15 minutes or so to get through this. And again, the whole point is just to really get that explosive movement on the sumo deadlift high pole and activate your hamstring, your glutes, and your uh, upper body in the uh, sumo deadlift high pole. Um, and then uh, for the workout, we've got five rounds 
each round is going to be two minutes. In that two minutes, you're going to do 75 double unders, and then you're going to do as many sumo deadlift high pulls in the time remaining. So on that double under, you've got two spins of the rope to one jump. Keep those elbows tucked in. Hold the jump rope towards the end and really flick that wrist every single time. If you need to go singles on this, do the same number of singles. You can also do a vertical jump here. Uh, if you're working on your double unders and you're not quite there, you don't have a real good space, this is a really good opportunity to do those virtual double unders where you really get that explosive jump each time, again, spinning those wrists. As soon as you get done, grab that kettlebell, a dumbbell, a barbell, and again, do as many sumo deadlift high pulls in the time remaining. Then you're going to take a one-minute rest, and then you're going to do it all over again. 75 double unders or 75 singles. Uh, RX is the double unders, but if you need to bring it back, go for it. Just make sure it's about the same time so you have some time to do those sumo deadlift high pulls in there. Uh, and you'll again, you'll do five rounds of this. Uh, you'll rest one minute in between each round and uh, go hard, go fast, count your reps, get as many reps as possible in that time. If for some reason you're having an issue with the high pull and need to stick with that sumo deadlift here, that's okay too. Uh, just whatever you need to do to make it challenging and really get something out of this and have fun at the same time. So that's your Tuesday workout, guys. Get in the gym, get online, whatever we can do to help. That's what we're here for. Uh, if you're watching this today, have a happy rest of your Memorial Day, and uh, we will see you soon. Coach Skip and Tift signing off. Music